Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Will It Run It? Today I'm testing my Jackery 500, Explorer 500, 100% charged. Uh, I'm running my Boog RV. I've done this in a couple other videos, but uh, I wanted to actually see uh, a real world example of how long this Jackery 500 will run this Boog RV fridge for. So like all my other tests, I've got it loaded up with Dr. Peppers. It's been pre-chilled. It's 36 degrees in there. It's been running for uh, half the day already on shore power. So this is a n normal scenario uh, where I would use it where I've pre-chilled everything on grid before I left. Now I'm just plugging it into my Jackery, hope letting the Jackery kind of uh, sustain it. So again, what I'm logging here is I've got my little contraption, my Node MCU uh, set up here to log every single time the compressor starts and every single time the compressor shuts off. And what that will do is it logs to my SQL Server database so I get the statistics on not only um, how long this thing runs for uh, from on till the battery's completely dead, but also how long the compressor actually ran for. It's 78 degrees in my shop, my climate controlled shop, according to my um, AC unit up there on the wall. So let's get this thing fired up. Oh, you know what? It would help if I plugged it in first. Turn the DC power on. Okay. Beeping. Turn it on. There we go. Uh, it's been pre-chilled, like I said, so I don't even expect the compressor to kick on for uh, for probably about 10 minutes um, until it, it kind of stabilizes. So I'm going to let this thing run, and I'm going to check back with the data when it's all done. So the Jackery is now at 0%. Let's go to the computer and see what our results are. Here are my results for the Jackery 500. In a previous video, which I'll link in the description, I did an estimate on the Jackery 500. My estimate was 10.36 hours of runtime over a 39.82 hour time frame. The actual runtime was 49.53 and the compressor was 11.29. So it actually performed quite a bit better than what I was expecting. I will say that the time frame hours, one of the reasons why that could have been better was because the, uh, the outside temperature, the lows at night, got a lot lower and I didn't have heat on in my shop. So my climate controlled shop was set to 78 on the AC, but it definitely got cooler than 78 inside my shop. That's most likely why that's higher. I don't know why the compressor runtime is higher. But there you go. Hopefully this helps. If you liked my video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.